Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on what is operating system. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. An operating system is the most important software that runs on a computer. It manages the computer's memory and processes as well as all of its software and hardware. It also allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language without an operating system a computer is basically useless so let's check the agenda for today's video first we'll be talking about what is operating system importance of operating system and some examples as well then we'll be talking about the different types of operating system in details that's all with the agenda so let's start the session now what is an operating system so the formal definition goes something like this the interface between the computer hardware and the end user is the operating system the computer os is responsible for data processing application execution file management and memory management so to sum it up it basically acts as a middleman between the user and the hardware of the computer so uh, this is brief history of operating systems uh, that is general motors developed the first operating systems for a single IBM computer in uh, 1956 and in the 1960s uh, IBM started installing uh, OSs uh, in the devices that they uh, released for the public use so in 1956 the first OS was uh, officially made so before that uh, the earliest computers were actually uh, mainframe computers which lacked any form of operating system it did not have an operating system installed on it so each user uh, would uh, arrive at the computer uh, with their uh, program or uh, data and uh, they they used uh, punched paper cards uh, or uh, magnetic uh, tapes or paper tapes etc to interact with the computer hardware so this is not the case nowadays uh, we have uh, operating systems uh, that help us interact with the computer hardware and the initial version of the unix operating system was built on the programming language uh, c and it was released in uh, 1960s and then uh, later on uh, microsoft uh, came up with uh, their own os that is windows uh, this was made on request uh, from the ibm that is international business machines and these are some of the functions of uh, operating systems and uh, some of them are memory management processor management file management device management input and output management uh, secondary storage management security command interpretation networking communication management and job accounting these are some of the functions that the operating uh, system performs and all of these functions are elementary that is they are uh, basic functions uh, that needs to be carried out and all these functions are interdependent on each other and if one part of the function doesn't work then all of the operating system will crumble so now that we have a rough idea of what an operating system is let us move on to the types of operating systems out there so the following are the different uh, types of operating systems uh, and i'll give uh, a brief explanation of each of these there are uh, six in total so the first type is a batch operating system this has no direct communication between the computer and the operating system there is an operator which takes uh, similar jobs having the same requirement and group them into batches as you can see in the diagram below uh, job 1 and uh, job 2 have similar requirements so they are batched together uh, that is they are grouped together and uh, named as one batch by the operating system and sent to the cpu for execution so this is how a batch operating system works the second type of operating system is real time operating system so these are uh, used when there are time requirements that are very strict like uh, the missile systems uh, they, they they are used in air traffic controls and robots etc and it is equipped with a data processing system and between the user's request and the output the processing time is relatively short uh, when compared to normal operating system that the common public uses just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in software engineering then intellipad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by enict council of iit guwahati and it is taught by iit guwahati professors and industry experts This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session. 
So as we can see from the applications of this type of uh, OS that is uh, they are used in missile systems, air traffic control systems etc. So they are not used by common public and if we use uh, there is one scenario I would like to explain uh, if we use our uh, personal computers and uh, some delay occurs delay or an error occurs uh, we just wait and resolve the issue it does not affect us in a big way but uh, in time sensitive scenarios like the air traffic uh, control system uh, RTOS or the real time operating systems have to be used there is no other choice and these operating systems are built different and they focus mainly on uh, time sensitivity and coming to the examples of it uh, some of the real time operating systems are PSOS and uh, VRTX so the next type of operating system is time sharing operating system uh, in this type uh, each task is uh, given a certain amount of time to complete so that everything runs properly multiple people can use a program at the same time uh, here the main motive is to minimize the response time and uh, the example for this type of operating system is the unix operating system although nowadays these type of operating systems are not widely used they have uh, very less use cases in the in this era and the fourth type is distributed operating systems here users are able to access files or softwares that aren't on their system but are on another system that is connected to a network so these are referred as loosely coupled systems and one of the example for it is uh, locus and also most of the operating systems are available in distributed versions uh, some of the example include uh, unix linux and windows operating systems when the os is uh, distributed uh, it must be installed on multiple servers which requires special configuration and management processes so even windows has this uh, version of uh, the operating system that is even windows can be distributed but this requires some special configuration and management uh, processes so the fifth type is network operating system over a small private network uh, these operating systems offer shared access to files printers security programs and other networking features these computers are popularly known as tightly coupled systems so this is opposite to the distributed operating systems where they are loosely coupled here they are tightly coupled and some of the popular uh, network operating systems are novel netware uh, windows nt and or uh, 2000 linux operating system sun solaris unix and ibm os2 and coming to the last type of operating system it is the mobile operating systems mobile operating systems are uh, those type of operating system that is designed to power smartphones tablet uh, wearables and uh, devices of similar kind so the example for uh, this type is android and ios although there are uh, numerous uh, examples for this type android and o ios are the dominant ones thank you for watching till the end just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.